Okay, so today we're going to analyze some data, and I've got some fake data here um, just to give you an example. It says that the number of high school math classes completed is the values in the left column here, and the score on the math section of the ACT are the numbers in the right column here. So I've basically highlighted all the numbers, Control C copies, and I would click on my Desmos graphing calculator and let's, let's fix this so you can see it. Control V will basically create a table. Now notice it's automatically uh, labeled this X1, Y1, and it's automatically graphed the points. And what's even sweeter is it's automatically adjusted the window to fit these data. So you now have a scatter plot. You may notice there is a positive correlation in this data because the data points are rising. So what we can do to analyze further is to scroll down to the bottom here and uh, create a regression, a linear regression equation for these data. And the way you do that is you type y. Now normally we type y equals mx plus b, but since we're doing regression, we're going to use the tilde and it looks uh, it's, we use it for similar. So when you see that symbol and you do MX1 plus B. Oh, wait a minute. I left off my one. Y1 equals MX1 plus B. What it does is it takes the variables X1, Y1, which were your numbers in your table here, and it generates a line of best fit, a trend line to go through the data. And so there you see that red line that's plotted. It also gives you some really interesting information here. This R value, we call this the correlation coefficient is 0 0.7844, and that means there is a, a moderately strong correlation uh, or relation between this line and these data. That means these data fit these this line pretty well. The slope of our line is 3.26. Well, what does that mean? Well, our x value was the number of math classes and our y value was the score. So according to these data, each math class uh, corresponds to a rise of 3.26 points in the math score on the ACT. Of course, this is fake data, so I don't know that that's true, but it does make sense. If you take more math, you probably would score a little better. And then B is 10.17 approximately. B is your y-intercept of your line. This would represent a student who didn't take any math classes. They would be expected to score about a 10 which is interesting because that's about right. They give you a 10, I think, automatically or something close to that. So even if you just guess. Uh, we also have what's called residuals. I'm not sure what this is going to look like, but I'll do a separate graph later in a different video. The residuals are the amount of error in your data. So if you click that, it's going to add a third column to your um table and it'll say E1 and E stands for error. So if your point is above the line, then you have a positive residual and if your point is below the line, you have a negative residual and the further away your point is from this line, the the bigger the error. So your residual plot is just these green dots. What we like to see in a residual plot is points very close to zero. Uh, that means there's a little bit of error. And we also like to see them randomly spaced about um, either side of the line. It does sort of look like the residuals are spreading out as the scores get higher, which is kind of interesting. I don't know that we should expect that, but again, I made up the data, so who knows if my data makes any sense. So that's a quick run through of how to plot points, you just copy and paste your data in if you've already made it in a spreadsheet. Uh, you click on the next row and type Y1 and then your tilde and then MX1 plus B and it'll automatically create your line of best fit with your slope and your y-intercept. Now to write the equation on your assignments, you would write Y equals 3.26X plus 10.17, you would round your digits off to whatever 
place is reasonable. I wouldn't round it off to the nearest whole number, but maybe put a few digits past the decimal for both slope and y-intercept. If y'all have any questions about any of this, be sure to let me know. Y'all have a great day.